Drug and alcohol use is definitely a problem among young people at the moment. I think alcohol can be the gateway drug, and I started drinking when I was about 14. I didn't even realise I had a problem until long after I did, and was addicted for a long time. I wanted to change the way I felt and enhance my quality of life, and it became a habit. Stress from work didn't help, and neither did my relationship with another drinker and user. The fact that the law banned what I was doing didn't stop me, it just made what I did to get drugs more extreme and insane. I think young people will try drugs despite their legality. My long-term relationship broke down because of addiction. My finances and job were badly affected. Some people I knew didn't even realise I had a problem, but in the end I sought help because of depression. Even though I've recovered from addiction now, and haven't had a drink or used drugs in a long time, my problems had a lasting impact on my life. If you have a problem, seek help. AA, CA and NA are all good places to start. The freedom you have at university can lead to drug use, and while it can be fun, people often think that it won't have a lasting impact on their lives. This can be far from the truth. I started drinking alcohol from my friends in secondary school. That was my decision. To be fair, I don't really like alcoholic drinks. I mean, I prefer mocktails. They taste just as good and there's no hangover. Not long after that experience, I had weed for the first time at a festival with my friends. And again, that was my decision. What I will say though, is that drugs and alcohol are a serious problem amongst young people. But weed and ketchup seem to be the substances that people take in Manchester a lot. There is help out there, but more could definitely be done to help the issue. Realistic campaigners and non-biased campaigners going to schools and universities, giving facts about the issue, would definitely be a start. I mean, from the talks in school that I received, I just remember about the long-term side effects that they told us about, trying to scare us away from the drugs, rather than giving us specific facts and clarity around the whole issue. With alcohol, I can see why people may want alcohol to be banned in the UK. I mean, there's long-term side effects to your health with alcohol. But I don't see that happening, I mean, it's impractical. If alcohol was banned, it would create a huge backlash and people would probably just drink it anyway, illegally. But it might also be useful to put little images and drinks menus for students, just to make them more aware of the units that they're consuming and to make them realise they've got to be more responsible when drinking. I would also put up talk to Frank posters in halls for international students, just in case they haven't accessed the website like we have here in the UK. My advice for anyone currently fighting addiction is to acknowledge you've got a problem 